All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's good morning here. All right, man, look. So today we're going to be talking about Shannon Sharp and what he said about the battle between Kendrick and Drake to John Cena. So we're going to get into that. Before I get into that, let me get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you are not subscribed, let me earn your subscription today. Also, too, all the beautiful ladies, put one in the chat. All those, you know, all the single beautiful ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content, and that's free. But if you want to leave a donation, links will be on the screen. Cash App and PayPal is in the description. Also, too, they called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers, and tonight I should be over three, was it over 9,000? So, and good morning, good morning again. Hope y'all out there getting some uh, good breakfast and getting up and doing all that stuff, and getting ready for work and everything. So, look, uh, we're going to get into it, man. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so let's go. There was a big rap battle going on this summer. Yes. Kendrick Lamar. Yes. And Drake. Yes. Who won? I know nothing about this. Hold up. So Shannon Sharp breaks silence about Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef. And I want you to watch the full video, man, because this one going to be really interesting. <laughs> Once again, you need to watch the full video, man. Remember to drop a like and subscribe. Let's go. You don't know anything. All I know is the headlines. I'm the one person, the one breathing human being who did not hear bar one of this <laughs> beef. I haven't heard any music, any tracks, nothing. So this is all new to me. Who won? Man, I love Who won it. and why? Man, they... Just, you started out, I was like, man, I love just, this guy. But just, you, just on pure, just play Drake. They play it. This is how you know he didn't even listen to the battle. That's how you know. Because he's saying, off of pure play, Drake. Right? That's what he's saying. So, this is how you know that Shannon Sharp is full of shit. All the time. If there's not going to be a game, a football game, a basketball game, or anything that you go to where the home team is winning, where you're not going to hear it, they're not like us. I mean, excuse me, Kendrick Lamar. Yes, Kendrick won. Okay, so because just. <laughs> I was about to call this nigga out, boy. I was about to say. Like, come on, bro. There's no way you can sit here and tell me that you think that Drake won this battle. I said, oh, there's no way you can go that you won't hear it not like us. And Drake didn't do that song. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, it's the most, isn't it the most played this in history already? I think it's done, it's the biggest song this summer. I need to check this out. I've, I've been living in under a rock. I need to check this out. Man, when the Shannon Shop just said Drake, man, I immediately unfollowed him on all social media platform, man. I also blacked him on the Instagram just to be specific, man. It's crazy. <laughs> then I watched the full interview. Yo, that's hilarious. <laughs> Yo, that listen, but that would make niggas unblock you, unfollow you. If you like listen, if you at this point saying that Kendrick lost the battle. And you don't really have any evidence. You just going off your feelings. Then I can understand why people would block you. I really, because you are unhinged. <laughs> you are unhinged, motherfucker. Because if you think, if you sitting here telling me that you think that Drake won that battle, fair and square, hands down, he won, and you can't give me a reason, there's no reason for us to be friends on. If, if we, if we're friends in real life, it's something different. But if we're friends on social media, I, yeah, there's no reason for us to be friends. There's no reason. You know what I mean? Because you basically going off your feelings. And I know people saying, well, it's my opinion. I, I, I can feel the way I want to feel. You can't tell me how to feel. It's like, yeah, but we don't can't be friends. We can't be friends. When he said, oh, they not like us, Kendrick Lamar. I just follow back, dude, immediately, man. Because there's no one 
with brains can say that Drake won Kendrick, man. <laughs> man, not like us alone defeated all of Drake this truck against Kendrick. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. I think that on every level, Kendrick beat Drake. On every song, there was not one song that Drake made better than Kendrick. You can pull out any one of those songs and I can I can make an argument of why it's better than every Drake song. Euphoria is better than push-ups. 616 is better than uh than Taylor Made, obviously. Meet the Grams is better than uh Family Matters. And then uh, you know, not like us is better than the heart part six. But if you want to go one on one, if you want to say just one song at a time, I can go down the list. One song at a time is better. You know what I'm saying? I can start with Euphoria is better than all of them. All of them. So, but yeah, let's keep it going. Listen, man, listen. I am also a video that y'all need to watch the full video this one is gonna be mind-blowing this is the one that i've been saving for y'all check this out are you not aware of the damage that you caused shit let me spell this out for you when you said this when you did that when you treated me like that when you left me like that when you're this when you're this when you're that can i call you and tell you about it and if I call you and I tell you about it, are you going to be able to own and be accountable and actually process the trauma that you caused? She ain't got no way of doing it. But I just got another letter from her lawyers requesting that I send over all of my tax returns and all of my bank statements because she's trying to get 20,000 and I think they're trying to take it up to like 40. And they've been looking at all of my movies and all of the con. Bro. <laughs> I don't know where this came from, but hey, we're going to run with it. <laughs> so it's the shows that I've been doing, and they're over there like blood sucking lawyers, rubbing their hands. And Samantha's doing the same thing, rubbing her hands. And they're going, oh shit, you know, for the last year and a half, he looks like he's been doing really well. Let's go ahead and get them bank statements over here so we can figure out a way to get this law firm another six hundred thousand dollars that we're asking for in legal fees okay so i'm gonna close this out i just got an email from my attorney and my ex's attorney name is adam gleckman he's the devil Bro, <laughs> bro, I'll be the laugh, but bro, <sighs> that's crazy, man. And I know his situation, I think it's child support and all that good stuff. So, but yeah, man, guys gotta be careful out there. Make sure y'all strap up, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't want one, they're gonna give it to you, you know what I'm saying? Trust me. She divorced me four years ago, August 2020. And she makes over $100,000 a year, close to 150, 160 at this point, because all of her Instagram, social media. And he came to court, and they literally said in the courtroom that they've only got $5,000 from Samantha for representing them, for representing her for the last four years. They've asked her to give them $5,000 because she married a celebrity, she, she married a high net worth individual, and they're over there rubbing their hands, banking on a pot of gold. I'm out here stressed the fuck out. She divorced me, and they're rubbing their hands over there, hoping that I do more concert shows, movies, so they can go online, look up all the movies that I just booked, and they're trying to get to the bottom of what actual money is in my bank account so that they can put it in their law firm's pockets. This is a dirty fucking game out here, ain't it? <sighs> yeah, that's crazy, man. I ain't even gonna lie. 
That's wild. That's wild. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to be careful, man, because there's a lot of demons running around there, and they want to take everything from you. And even when they take everything, that's still not enough. They want more. It's crazy. It's a dirty, dirty game out here. Well, y'all going to keep waiting. Y'all pray for me because I am hearing that the appeals court around my case, my case is going to be, my case is being appealed. My divorce case is being appealed and they're going to give me the outcome of my appeal August 25th. August 25th, the verdict and the outcome of my appeals because all of the shit that that judge did, all of his rulings were so fucking illegal and so all over the place. They're going to rule on everything that we are appealing and that verdict is coming in on August 25th. Y'all pray for me. I don't want nothing to work in my favor. I just want to do things according to the law. I don't know if you want to do that. <laughs> Obviously, they did it according to the law, and they broke a lot of laws. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna stop that right there. I'm gonna make sure I put the source of this guy's page in the uh, description. Yeah. So, good morning, good morning to everybody. Um, yeah, that was crazy, man. That was crazy. Uh, I guess that was a two for one join there. <laughs> I didn't know that other clip was on there, but hey, it was. Um, so Shannon Sharp, you know, he he did what they call a Freudian slip. You know what I'm saying? No, actually, it wasn't a Freudian slip. That was just a mistake. You know what I'm saying? And he talked about he talked about Kendrick, saying that wherever he goes, he's playing that. So, um, I was hoping that John Cena actually heard the song, and he didn't. Um, and that's, that's actually shocking to me because John Cena is a rapper. If y'all don't understand, I know that he actually is a pretty good freestyler. I don't know if he still is now, but he is. He actually came at Jay-Z a couple of times on the WWE. So, But, uh, yeah, man, I thought that was pretty interesting. Brought it to y'all. So, look, y'all have a good good morning, man. And, and uh, you know what I mean? If y'all um woke up just to see my face, thank you so much. And if you want to roll back over and go to sleep, okay, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And uh, yeah, man, I'll see y'all on the next one. 12 o'clock show will be coming up. Six o'clock show after hours and uh, extra shows too. So, all right, man, I'm blessing y'all this whole weekend. All right, man, see y'all, peace out.